What we have is we had a Toyota Tundra who decided to go off the main road, as you can see behind me, is the roadway uh, Route 9. Uh, they decided to go on the grassy area. While on the grassy area, they lost control and struck a concrete pole. Highway Patrol Division Sergeant Mike Uggen and traffic investigators believe six male miners were skipping school and decided to go off-roading along Route 3. But their joyride ended abruptly this morning when the 16-year-old driver of the pickup truck lost control, slamming into a concrete utility pole. Five boys were inside the cab while one was riding in the bed of the pickup. The impact of the collision resulted in the back passenger being thrown several feet. Investigators were seen picking up pieces of the truck from the grassy area. When you're on the road, the roads are made for traction. When you're off the road, like it is behind us with this grass, there's no traction. So it's kind of like running on wet water. The grasses are still wet. Remember, grass soaks up water. So when you start running on it, you can lose uh, control. It's apparent that he lost control and struck the concrete uh, telephone pole. Guam Memorial Hospital spokesperson Connor Murphy says two 17-year-old boys are listed in critical condition at the hospital. One of those is the teen who was thrown from the back of the pickup's bed. The other was sitting behind the driver but received the brunt of the impact of the collision with the concrete pole. Two other teens are being evaluated at the GMH emergency room while one other boy was taken to the Naval Hospital for minor injuries. Just like everything else, we're looking at speed and, and alcohol, if any, was involved. Uh, we don't know any of that right now. We're just at the preliminary stage. The crash is a stark reminder to the public of the dangers of riding in the bed of a truck. While GPD has advocated against any passengers in the back of pickups, Guam law allows up to five people who are 12 years of age or older to sit in the back as long as they don't lean or sit at the tailgate. Reporting in Dededo for Guam's News Network, I'm Indy Egan.